Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We couldn't let our friend Pastor Jamal Bryan go without chatting with him a little bit more Absolutely. down to the table. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. Yes. Now, look here, Pastor Jamal. <laughs> <laughs> we were down to the other section of yes. the Sister Circle, uh, yeah. the couches. Yes. And you spoke so eloquently about merging the church with uh, the outside mm, and yes. needing to get outside. And one of the things that you've done recently is you've partnered with Kanye West, or you, yes. you ha had Kanye come to the church yes. um, with the movement that he's doing with the gospel choir. Yeah. Um, we see you doing a lot of work at New Birth that is kind mm -hmm. of uh, mm -hmm. outside of the box. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. um, what, what I want to know is how did this come about, but moreover, how do you deal with the backlash behind it? Uh -huh. There's been a lot That's of backlash good. from the collection plate going around yes. too many times yes. and, and letting him speak up there the on the pulpit. pulpit. You yes. know, I know you heard so, it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you make this conscious decision yes. to, to have this type of connection, yes. what are some of the things that you um, are apprehensive yeah. about and how do you deal with it? Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think that the gospel is supposed to be risky. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, that if it's safe, God's not in it. Hello, mm -hmm. uh, So Kanye called us with a four day notice and said, can I come? Mm. Can you come? I will meet you there. Right. <laughs> uh, so I opened it up and most of the people uh, who were critical of it, mm -hmm. go to a church. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't looking for them. Mm. Uh, it was the largest number of young adults I've had at that church mm. wow. to the extent that I had 500 people waiting in line at 6.30 in the morning. Oh, wow. Uh, so however it is, I got to get them in church is wonderful. Look at God. And to those who couldn't see the vision, 156 millennials got saved that day. Wow. Uh, and so when, when all of the smoke clears, uh, it's worth it all. Everybody has got to go back into what is their priority. So we got backlash from influential artists mm -hmm. in Atlanta about a second offering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the, the hypocrisy for me is that they bemoan that when just coming from a strip club. Ooh. Wait a minute. Uh, and so <laughs> you have no Don't issue. I got to get on that. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. And what you do with your money is fine, but you can't uh, besmirch those who are really doing community development and engagement against those who are coming down a pole. Right. Uh, and so I'm just coming back from uh, the Bahamas from getting uh, 56 young people who were left because of the hurricane. Mm -hmm. And yesterday I dropped them off at Hampton University. Oh, uh, for free tuition, free room, mm -hmm. free mm -hmm. board. Mm -hmm. And none of the rappers who had an issue with me gave you money to those no students. Oh, yeah. uh, and so either you're part of the solution or you're part of the problem. Right. Uh, and so well, I think that the that. church has really got to get to a place where we're unapologetic about mm -hmm. our bold and our stance. Yes. You and you cannot like have that position if you're not doing the work. Oh, wow. Well, then there's that. that. Oh, Read the people down to the floor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Under this table. Definitely. Yes. Oh, I, I want to talk about that just a little mm. bit more, Pastor mm. Bryant, because, you know, we had Kara Sheard here just the other day, and yes. she was talking about her collaboration with, uh, like, Missy Elliott and Sir yes. the Baptist. Tell me, what can we do, especially when we have those traditional church folks that right. kind of snicker and sneer down when they see this emergence of the gospel world and the secular world? Right. Tell me, why do you think that emergence is so important so in this day and age? A, a few weeks ago, I played in church Frankie Beverly and Mays. Yes. Which, which song oh. did you play? Come on now. <laughs> Before I let go. Before I let go. Hey, Listen, <laughs> so my own people started getting up, dancing, yeah. for they realized what was playing and where they were. Right. So, okay. so the people who have an issue, they know the music. Mm -hmm. uh, and so let's not act as if we're in witness protection and we only listen in to Mahalia Jackson. <laughs> And James Cleveland, yes. uh, we've got to have some level of balance. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus ate with sinners and Ooh, publicans come on and prostitutes and gangbangers. And the church has got to go back to doing that yes. uh, because yes. most of our churches are dying. Yes. Uh, this is the largest demographic of black people who don't go to church. Mm -hmm. uh, Dick Gregory said to me some years ago that in the 60s when, Jesus, when black people were in trouble, they call on Jesus and the NAACP. Mm -hmm. And now here's a generation that doesn't call on either. Oh, right. uh, and so now we've got to do something to make Jesus relevant mm -hmm. to a generation that doesn't own him. Wow. Oh, wow. Right now. You talked about Republicans, Democrats. You yes. saw our, our campaign, Serve yes. the Vote. 
I'm it's going it. to be fantastic. Yes. What, do you, what does the church need to do Look, to make sure that our folks are signed up, ready to go, and right. ready to make a change? I'm, I'm a baby of the NAACP. Yes, you and are. Mega Evers put together a prong of three points. Voter education, registration, get out the vote. Uh, and so the church has got to be influential in educating our voters as what's important and maturing to know everybody who's our color is not our kind. Oh. Uh, just because you're black doesn't mean you have a black agenda. Uh, and so all of the issues that you all talked about circling education, that there's more student loan debt than there is yes, credit is. card debt. Yes, when we talk about health care, that there's no universal health care for curable that. diseases mm -hmm. that impact our community. My goodness. Yes. Goodness. Well, Pastor, your church recently partnered with Delta yes. uh, for the efforts of relief for the Bahamas. Yes. How can uh, our audience get in on that and help? Yes. I've got to do two shout outs. Okay, go ahead. One is JetBlue gave me a chartered plane Come on, right to now. put all of the students to take to Hampton yesterday. Wow. So I've got to celebrate JetBlue. Yes, you do. And yes. Delta Airlines, for those of you who are friends of this show, has given me four cargo planes, one for the next four weeks. Mm. If your ship would ever don't donations you want to send to the Bahamas, we're going to take it to Delta, and yes. for the next four weeks, we'll make sure it gets to Freeport and Nassau. They need to bring oh, it to the God. church, the church? Down yeah. to Newburgh? Yes, they can send it down to Newburgh. Oh, down to Newburgh. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow, that's Do great. Do not send it to Delta. They'll, <laughs> they'll think it's on layover. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. We encourage, uh, I've got a, a plethora of things. We'll put uh, the information on social media as yes. well. Thank you. So yes. we can help you fill those planes. Help me. Uh, can we give it up for Pastor Jamal Ryan? Thank you. For sticking around and what you're doing for everybody. We appreciate you and thank you for thank letting you. God use you. Thank you. Continuing to let him use you. Okay, if you want more information on how you can help, head over to newbirth.org and you can keep up with Jamal Bryan on all social media platforms at Jamal H. Bryan. He's very active yes. on social media. Yes.